Hello guys, so in this series we'll be creating a simple church management system using LightDB as our database. So to get started, let's, have, let's first of all download the DLL file for LightDB and then add it as a reference to our application. So to download, you just head over to the download section over right here. And then scroll down. We are going in for the latest version. As at the time of recording, it's version 4.1.4. .4. Just download the DLL file over here, and we are good to go. Come to Visual Studio. Now, in Visual Studio, we are going to first of all import the um, the DLL file that we just downloaded. So to do that, let's first of all go to Reference, and then under References, we are going to right click. Go to add reference. And then if you don't have yours here, definitely you have yours there, but you can go ahead and then hit on the browse to locate where you play the DL file. Once you found the location, just click on it and then you find it over here. Now just check it over and then Click on OK. Great. Now that you've imported the light DBDL file, let's go ahead and create a directory that will store the files for application. We are going to need a directory for our classes, our model classes. Um, we're going to need one for our model itself. We're going to need one for our forms. We are going to need one for our, our adapter, which I'll show you what we do very soon with it. Um, and we are going to need one for Our user controls, um, user controllers, right? Our, we are going to need one for our user controls. Um, okay, so these are the folders that you're going to use. Now, now that we have our directory set up, let's go ahead and create the main model. This main model file here will be used to hold the shared logic across our application. Anytime you have a function or a sub that needs to be accessed globally, we are going to put that function or sub inside this main model and access it wherever we are. So to begin with, let's import LightDB light inside this model file. Great. Now let's create some public constants to hold the name of our database and then some of the collections that we'll be using in this application.
Okay, now that I have the pub uh, public concerns declared, let's go ahead and declare some global variables that we'll be using. Okay, so I'd like to put my, my codes in separate regions. So let's create a separate region for this one. Let's go ahead and write some functions to interact with our database. The first function we're going to write is going to be called um, the get database, right? So Great. So this one's going to get our database for us. And then let's create another one to get any collection that we want to. So these two functions are going to get out of the database. If you want to interact with the database directly, we're going to call the get db and if you want to perform some operation on a collection we're going to call get collection and pass in the name of the collection okay so let's create a function let's create some uh, one last function to actually um fetch data from our database okay for this public function um fetch data right and fetch data is going to take in the name of the collection and it's going to take in um, a string and it's going to take in an optional parameter called find Type right as integer. And then the flag is going to be one. So for now let it return nothing. Okay, we'll work on it and then show um, later on find the let it display something. But first of all, we need to find out which find that the user wants to find so so, so let's case um the find type right find type so for case one which is going to be the default we're going to call get collection right to get a collection of any collection name so what's in the collection name and I'm going to say find um, now over here if you are supposed to call like the find here so you can see you have the find find which you, the find which is going to take in a query you have the find or which is going to return all documents we have find by ID which is going to return a, a specific document that matches the ID we provided and then find one which is also going to return um, a bosom document right so all of them is returning a bosom document right so um, let's go ahead and then um actually be calling them here so it is similar to the same token but instead of us calling get db get collection you're just getting call you're just calling get collection now when you call get collection it is not really uh it automatically calls a get db right so we don't need to pass in all this all we have to do just 
provide the rest of the string over here. So find right find and then find is going to use in a query. So we're going to pass in a query that we've provided in that uh, query variable we created over here. Right. So anytime you want to find by query, just pass in a query and then come and call fetch uh, data and then fetch data will do that for us. So find by query and then case two is going to be we're going to do a find all here right case two is going to be find by query so we're going to get collection dot collection and we're going to call friend by query and let's say get collection the collection name And the last one is going to be find one. Okay, so let's collection collection name find one. And that one is also going to take in a query variable. So um, this one is going to return. So let's draw the curtains down here and in the next video we are going to actually improve this one by um, adding functionalities to insert, update and then delete. So until next time, happy coding.